Miller and Lux is all about having a good time. And I think when you come here, this is a Michelin caliber restaurant. And I, I think the experience uh, feels sophisticated, and it is. But we are also super low key and really fun with how glamorous the restaurant is at the same time. So we want you to have a good time. Here we celebrate steak, we celebrate beef. And I think we do a really, really great job with it. We're the highest rated restaurant, highest rated steakhouse in the city of San Francisco. And uh, we're enjoying our you know, position and just doing what we think is the, the proper uh, service experience for steak at a really high level. This is our signature steak. This is a 45 day dry age, black Angus prime tomahawk steak. And it beef is grass fed and then grain finished on barley, plus a 45 day dry age. You're not gonna find a better steak anywhere in America. This is a custom proprietary uh, ranching style that's designed just for us at the restaurant. We've been working on it for two years and it's the best steak I've had in years. It's delicious. I wanna make sure that you get a chance to bring the steak trays out to the tables. When people walk out and they see how beautiful our cuts are, and how the success of a really great restaurant lies in three things. The ambiance has to be fabulous. The service has to be uh, on point and very hospitable. And then the food has to be amazing. And so those are the three things that we live by here at the restaurant every single day. It's Roby's VIP alerts. So we have lots of like great, great cuts to choose from once you get here. We also have fantastic uh, fish dishes. We have a Dover sole uh, that is deboned and finished with Meniere butter table side. And you can't miss our Caesar salad. So we are a classic steakhouse experience. We keep the oysters alive. So the water is chilled, it's salinated, and it's pH balanced to the ocean. These are Miyagi's from Western Marin County from Tamales Bay. And so they naturally have a beautiful briny flavor as well. Uh, but then we get a chance to keep the oysters alive longer. So there's fresh and, and plump and so the oysters um, have no idea that they're in an estuary right now. And so when you crack it open, you haven't ever tasted a fresh oyster unless you've actually gone to the oyster farm yourself. It's amazing. <laughs> So we got a chance to speak to the Warriors about this opportunity back in 2017, back when they were still in Oakland. And so the, uh, Joe Lacob and Peter Goober, the majority owners of the Warriors, are our investors in this particular project. And they invited us to do a restaurant here. And our wonderful experience is a lot of fun on game nights because you get a lot of like-minded people that are here to celebrate something fun together. So. Um, out of everything I've ever cooked, I've written uh, 17 cookbooks, I've written 20,000 recipes for foodnetwork.com. That's a real number. And I think right now I'm so into beef. I love beef. So if you get a chance to come try our steaks, you're, you're going to take the passion behind uh, two years of R&D on developing such a great ranching program. You're going to close your eyes and, and it's just going to melt in your mouth and it's going to be one of the most amazing experiences you've ever had in your entire life. Trying to find that legendary name uh, for the restaurant. And where this piece of property sits right now, from 1860 all the way up to the 1906 earthquake, used to be the largest meatpacking district on the west coast of the United States. And the company had the largest footprint inside Butcherstown was called Miller and Lux. It was Henry Miller and Charles Lux, and they had more cattle and more land than anybody else in America. They were legends in the, the ranching world, and we were lucky enough to stumble across that story and then adopt that as our name for a restaurant. I've been in the restaurant business my entire life. I moved to Northern California in 2007 with my lovely wife, Tolan. We have three beautiful children. We live in Marin County. And it felt like a great place for us to just put our roots down and grow not only a restaurant business, but also a wonderful family. And so we opened up uh, Wayfair Tavern in 2010. And Wayfair Tavern is going to turn 13 in June, which we're very excited about that. And now we have Miller and Lux. San Francisco is a world-class dining destination. It always has been, and it always will be. The food here is amazing because the climate here is second to none. We have a fabulous long growing season. Uh, we have amazing relationships with farmers and ranchers uh, all over the Bay Area. And what we get is the best products 
that I've ever experienced as a chef anywhere. And there's no other place in America I'd rather cook. And I'm just thrilled to be here.